Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Friday. Finally made it to the weekend here. It is about 11 a.m. California time, September 6, 2024. Latest activity shows a 1.6 in the Texas. Also, uh, a little bit of movement up in Alaska. But uh, primarily focused down here across New Zealand. Definitely getting some uh, plate adjustment going on here across the entire length with New Zealand right in the middle here. This is a good time to be on guard here for some possible further larger scale activity. I mean, literally earlier this morning, we've seen a 5.2 and then a couple hours later working its way up north here, uh, just off to North Island for a five pointer. Uh, again, that puts New Zealand right in the middle between these two earthquakes here. And of course there is a, you know, there's a, they sit on a plate boundary. They reside on a plate boundary here, also a subduction zone that sits right off the eastern coast here of the North Island, the Hikarangi subduction zone. So just be on guard. A little bit of uptick there for sure. Uh, let me check the GeoNet servers and see what they have. Uh, GeoNet servers are going to be the one that monitor the uh, smaller quakes there. Stand by for a second. Get this set up. Uh, GeoNet. So uh, three hours ago, they're reporting that one. So far, they have not, uh, doesn't look like they're reporting the uh, other one yet. The one that's happening just north here of the North Island. But let me check the all magnitudes here and see. Okay, they are. 30 minutes ago, they're reporting that as a 5.2. 100 kilometers deep there just off the North Island, uh, New Zealand area. So uh, things are rocking and rolling down there a little bit. The earthquake drums there shows there's the uh, first five pointer and then the second five pointer here Let's see here of course the further we go down here on the map is going to be closer to south island and that five pointer showed up significantly significantly there as well um north island now just getting that five pointer there off the north coast so you know be on guard here folks when we see that type of movement here um, and there's this little bend here, the subduction zone, and of course the Alpine Fault. You know, it's, it's a good idea to be uh, prepared for a possible larger scale activity out here. There's many faults here across New Zealand that are primed and ripe for some larger scale activity. And New Zealand's one of those places here where they haven't really gotten any major adjustment recently. A lot of activity north here, Kermadec Trench northward, and of course all around the plate boundary. But today's activity, X marks the spot here potentially for some larger scale movement. We'll keep an eye on that. California area got, uh, yeah, let's see what we got for 2.5 and above here. 3.6 out uh, just outside of South Lake Tahoe area. That was early this morning. Aside from that, most of the threes here from yesterday. Still seeing some after or uh, microquake activity in the general area, but uh, it looks for now, it looks as though for now things are toning down slightly uh, here in Southern California, but uh, don't let your guard down, right? Because obviously things can really kick up uh, with little notice here. Nevada still seeing some earthquake activity out here south of Tonopah around the Goldfield Hills area. That uh, earthquake swarm has been going on for a few days now. Northern California, pretty quiet. Uh, Cascadia subduction zone remains quiet as well. A handful of smaller quakes there through the Pacific Northwest, but really not a whole lot going on up there. Oil fields outside of Texas, uh, in Texas, I should say, outside of Pecos, Texas and Midland, getting hit with a bunch of earthquake activity here recently. Same for Oklahoma. One little lonesome earthquake out here in the New Madrid seismic zone, a 1.9, but that's from yesterday. So relatively quiet out here across the eastern portion of the country for now. Hawaii, about the same, uh, although we're getting a little trail here. Look at this, a little trail leading off to the lower east rift zone. Might uh, be a sign there, but we also got a little bit of activity up around the summit area. And this is fairly shallow, so let's go check out the Hawaii Kilauea Volcano real quick. See what's going on there. There's a look, a live look here at the Kilauea Volcano summit area and crater region. Notice, uh, of course, the volcanic gases out here seeping through the tiniest of cracks. Looks a little bit more active out here, but that could be dependent on how moist it is and how cold it is up here uh, across this area. 
Uh, of course, you know, we've seen mornings here where there's no activity but cold and a lot of condensation and uh, vapors coming up here through the crater area, making it look more dramatic than what was really going on. But uh, aside from that, I don't really see anything major there uh, at the summit area. Across the uh, Middle East Rift Zone here, looks like... Uh, 63 degrees out there hard to see what's going on uh, a little bit of haze a little bit of fog out there some high clouds as well uh, a look at the deformation chart here that shows the ground movement or magma below the ground i should say um it, again it's been fairly consistent here over the last week or so just stationary really nothing major going on i don't see any change across the area for now uh, let's check out the tilt meter down here towards the lower east rift zone and see if anything's popping up here slight uptick but really nothing major uh, but we're definitely seeing a little bit of earthquake activity here roughly around around the summit area through the middle east rift zone and, and wanting to stretch down here towards the lower east rift zone so we'll keep an eye on that uh, but for now i don't think we're looking at any uh, uh impending eruption just a little bit of earthquake activity with potentially maybe a little bit of migration going on down there below the surface in terms of magma movement uh, further out and about here, got a little bit of adjustment on the northern edge here of the Pacific Plate. That's going to be a 4.3 coming in within the last hour here. So, uh, yeah, north and south here looking quite active. Uh, some movement off the coast here of the, let's see where that's at, off the Guatemala area, 5.1 coming in. A couple hours ago here, the Middle America Trench. This has been somewhat active here over the last oh last week or so a couple fours and uh, some further movement down south here in the fracture zones also some activity stirring up here in the chile area with a 5.7 about three o'clock this morning as well notice uh, a little clustering going on here around the peru chile trench that uh, area a couple different areas out here showing some uptick so overall today uh, obviously a fairly decent amount of uptick across various areas of the globe Plate tectonics in full swing, it looks like today. So while things are in action, definitely got to be prepared. So keep an eye there on New Zealand. California, yes, somewhat quiet for right now, but that may not be the case for long. A little bit of movement up here across India and the Himalaya areas. Um, a little bit of movement, 4.5. Let's see where that's at. Uh, over here across the Gulf of Aden. But uh, not showing up here on the USGS map. But there is a little bit of activity here from the EMSC model showing that earthquake movement this morning. Mediterranean areas, a couple threes, some fours out there. Iceland getting in on the mix as well. Looks like a three-pointer. So let's go take a look here at the Icelandic uh, earthquake site here. See what we have. A three-pointer is going to be here around the Catla vol volcano down here across this area. 2.9, a couple other smaller quakes in there as well. Nothing major going on. This area has seen a little bit of earthquake activity here recently, but uh, I don't think anything of concern at the moment. Uh, across the Savart Singhi area, uh, some minimal earthquake activity there around the eruption region that we're seeing right now. I uh, haven't checked it in a day or so, but uh, let's see what we got here for the eruption this update was put out today um well the eruption north of stora sagafell is over no visible activity in the craters since last night all right so um but due to that uh haltage there no more free flow of magma from below up to the surface we're getting accumulation below the sarvart singhi area once again land rise there being observed underneath the re region. So 14 days here. I think that was the, uh, similar to what we had seen last eruption here. It's a rinse and repeat cycle. Um, and I think we'll probably here in a few more weeks, we'll see uh, just enough accumulation underneath the area again to uh, create another eruption. Rinse and repeat. Goodness. All right. So the eruption is over there now for, uh, for the moment in Iceland. Space weather. Anything major going on here? A little bit of sea flare activity. Look at this magnetic loop right here. Beautiful. It's probably off here a little bit, a little bit raised off of the uh, sunspots, but it's hard to tell looking uh, directly at this angle. But if you were looking from the side, it'd probably be a beautiful magnetic loop. 
And sometimes these things can blast off with a solar flare and, uh, you know, create a, a decent CME. This is in the Earth-directed view, so we'll keep an eye on that sunspot area with that magnetic loop. Overall flare threat out here right now, still decent, 20% chance for X flare, M flare at 70, C flare around 99% chance or so. And uh, no major roars in the forecast, as noted here, not a whole lot happening. Maybe we'll get that to change here in the coming days with some active regions coming around the eastern limb. All right, far as any asteroid approaches go, I know they, uh, well, they called that, what was that, meter, meter wide asteroid, about three feet, uh, that went over the Philippines here recently. They, they called the re-entry point and everything, and quite a few videos came up of that uh, little small space rock that made a entry into the atmosphere and burned up, which is pretty decent, right? They're getting good at calling um, locations and whatnot. Far as uh, any close approaches right now, we do have a couple um, bus size asteroids coming within about half a million miles from the planet. That's still considerably safe. Uh, some bigger asteroids here in the, uh, well, this is uh, September 6th. That's today as well. That's over two mil almost 3 million miles over a 50 foot house size asteroid. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's 223,000 or yeah, 223,000 miles there for a 48 foot asteroid tomorrow. Um, that's getting close, but that's still uh, a little bit safer distance. Earlier this year, we had an asteroid, and I can't remember what it was. I think it was about 12-foot asteroid, maybe, that came within about 12,000 miles of the Earth. So that was a very close approach, and it missed us. Uh, but this here is still a ways out there. I don't normally cover anything in the orbital viewer until we get under 100,000 miles or maybe 80,000 miles or so. Then we can look at the... Uh, uh, orbital viewers which show the direct path and whatnot on a uh, pretty cool 3d layout but uh, for now everything looks uh, safe at least according to the ones here that are being shown all right severe weather out here today got uh, a marginal risk a little bitty area over here across ohio uh, mainly due to a little bit of wind and uh, maybe some hail threat out there as well with some thunderstorms but overall just some thunderstorm activity out here in general across various areas of the country. All right, folks, keep an eye there on New Zealand. Again, that's right in the middle, right? One would expect here some major adjustment to take place following an event like this here, uh, especially that little curve area that New Zealand sits on. So we'll be watching that area today. I do have a uh, New Zealand station up. Uh, let's see, that's going to be the south island area new zealand the station right here barrett's offline that's southern california a little spike of an earthquake coming into the grapevine which is in nevada not the grapevine uh, through uh you know i-5 south of bakersfield but that's uh in the uh, nevada area near tonopah all right i'm out of here folks have yourself a good day we will catch you guys back out here a little bit later on for the friday night update unless something major happens out here have a good day and enjoy your Friday.